I was your lover and your secretary, working every day of the week. <laughs> Eleven years of sacrifice. I'm just kidding. Hey guys, um, I'm back. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just gonna look. We gonna be real cute with this one, okay? Because I've got a big, a big old piece of salmon in the oven. And we're going to get into this reaction. And I already was live one time. Uh, we went over. Um, if you want in detail, then you're going to have to go right on over to see Mr. Dennis and over there to uh, Pam Pull Up Esquire. When she said Pam Pull Up Esquire, I fell out. Okay. It's on some Pam Pull Up. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, ah. <laughs> Please go watch because I can't do it justice. Ma'am was, um, sis was live for an hour. Dennis was live for an hour. And they told us everything that they witnessed and observed. And um, it was really good. I can't do it justice. I gave you my opinion. Um, I need to go back and listen because I was, you know, I was chatting. And when I was chatting, I'm missing some of the content. So I'm going to go back and give it a serious listen to. Pineapples, I see you, boo-boo. Um, pineapples. Oh, yeah, Pineapples was there this morning. Guys, I did do um, some Dear Fran today. We did two Dear Fran letters. You guys are wondering about sex after um, a hysterectomy. You guys are asking about... You guys have some tomorrow morning. I think we're going to do some sex questions. So if you have a question for dear Fran, that would be me. Make sure to send them and we will address them um, in an upcoming episode. So today we had an HR question, a situation at work. I think sir was, was uh, liking on ma'am and she didn't know how to handle it, but he was also being a bugaboo in the workplace. And then we had somebody who wanted to cut off her, maybe her ratchet family. She said she was tired of fake love. So if you want to hear, um, maybe that was one of your letters that might be resonating with someone like Bullet House. Bullet House, was that any of your, Tanya, uh, Tanya is that you, Sonia's sister? Because the person said she was ready to cut off everybody in her family, all the fake love. All of that. I didn't know if that was from Bullet House or from Miss Waller herself or from one of Miss Waller's sisters. I don't know. But I think that first letter about the family, I think that was on some Sonia. I don't know. Anyway, um, go check out Dear Fran episode. It is, I posted the link for you guys. Um, it's on the comment, it's on the community wall. So go check that out. Um, I appreciate y'all supporting. We did two dear friend letters and pretty much that was it. Um, but I think it was pretty good and it was a nice conversation and obviously chime in in the comments. Um, but I think we probably um, flip dear friend into the evening a little bit or something um, because I think it's going to be really good as a call in, especially on certain topics. So stay tuned for that. Um, and if you have a question for me on pretty much any topic, you are welcome to ask it. I did have a couple of Nesto questions, which I'm going to just drag over here. Okay. I don't, I don't want to answer those over there because it's just, you know, um, it's more like relationship finance, you know, things of that nature. So anywho, guys, let's get into it. I'm not going to keep y'all long. We're going to get into this next video and then we'll do, we'll just, you know, we'll just keep getting caught up and just keep it real cute um, on this evening, okay? Um, I hope everyone is doing well. This is the video where Sonia tries to let people know that she got a very slight nose job and nobody cares, okay? Nobody cares, um, but we, we're going to get into it. Um, last night, also, to let you know, 16, what was it, 16 hours ago, whenever that was, um, phone calls from prison put up a one video and that was a video from, from January 14th, that ratchet weekend known as Sonia's granddaughter's birthday weekend, where she was consumed with Nesto crap to do not her granddaughter, but I, I if I were Sydney, I would be like, mom, you got to get your shit together and stop. If you're going to be around me and the kids, uh, me and my adopted 
uh, or what, you know what I mean? My baby on loan from the strip club and my, and my teenager, you gonna have to focus on us and stop focusing on your jailbird boyfriend. Um, okay. All right. Anywho, um, this is the wrong video. We're not into that yet, but if you had the membership, you would have already seen that. That's my point. Um, so the video that they posted last night, if you already had membership, you've already seen it, but they had posted it as two videos, not just one. Anyway, okay, this is the next video right here. Okay, let's get into this one. And what? Hey, old man. Hold on, I'm trying to turn this thing up. I can't hear you. You can't okay. hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Look at Sonya sitting behind all that paperwork. You know, you when is Sonya going to get to her paperwork, guys? Look at all that paperwork on Sonya's desk. You know, I'm having to sub in at Sonya's desk because she basically got fired. But do you see all that paperwork? She was always saying she's going to start the paperwork either tomorrow or Monday. How you doing today, Sonya's Curly? Sonya's paperwork. <laughs> they got you in the same spot, I see. I know. I was like, "Why you put me in one A again?" I, I guess because I came later. The later you, the later you go to the window. The, um, She'll get to it next week. <laughs> well, what's hey, like bro. earrings in your ear? You got all those earrings in your ear. Yeah, yeah I had. That. I did this when I was seventeen. I have. Hold on. Let me get up from my desk so we can hold on. Let me. Since we're probably going to be clowning, let me change that. Um, let me just hold on a second. Boom. Okay. It's the edges for me. It's this. I don't know why she keeps telling us how thick her hair is when it looks ex very thin. So I have six over here and three over there. I the time when I was 17 years old. You got six. a thousand earrings in your ear. He said you got a thousand. I never noticed that. Okay. Because <laughs> never put my ear in your mouth. <laughs> You're trying to be funny. Okay, 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 okay. To be okay. Nasty, but okay. Okay. <laughs> Is it raining out there? Oh yeah, raining out there. Okay. Just, it said, just left the airport, ran to the house for like two seconds, and then ran out and came here. It took you that long to get from the airport? Yeah, because it's raining and the weather is bad. People can't drive here. You know they closed that club down. What club? Public, the one they, they uh, Alex is gonna sell everything. Oh, oh, oh they closed it down. Cause his brother got murdered there. Oh, so he don't want it no more. Nope. Damn. So what's she gonna do? With that? You? <laughs> oh, you gonna try to run, uh, Is it for sale? It? Is it for sale? Wait, is it for sale? Oh, is you gonna try to get it? Uh, I think they own the property. Mm. Oh, they do? Yeah, it's either that or they're going to... What's the trains are right there, so I don't think they're going to put uh, apartments there. See anything, they're going to put apartments there. Oh, when did this happen? Okay. Go, ahead, go ahead and sell it. Get rid of it. Grandpa. Aw. Yeah. Hey, cutie. Yeah, see. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, looking like a motherfucking clown up in here. <laughs> no, you don't. I can see yeah. you all with that. Yeah, I know you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what you got going on, Bill? You look nice today. Yeah, you all leather down, ain't you? I got on black jeans and black boots. Oh, okay. Who brought you up here? Your daughter? Your daughter brought you up here? No, my, my niece dropped me off and my son gonna pick me up. Oh, what niece is this? Oh, you're talking about the one saying your daughter. Yeah, her. Uh -oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she yeah. gonna take you out and smoke oh, you out? She dropped me off. Oh, she I got her car. Was like, oh my god! I hope they don't arrest me for smelling like weed when I get out your car. <laughs> she was like, I'm not gonna light up till after you get out. I'm like, why do you smoke weed every day? Who does that? Like, how do you function every day? Hi. Dang. Give me something wrong with your norm. I don't know. Oh. I, can't be high. I can't be high period, but I like I like being my normal self. So. No. Okay. Okay. Let me see your nails. They light green or are they dark green? Okay. They ain't green. <laughs> They're I don't beige. know what color. Oh, they're beige. They're beige. Yeah, I want oh, beige. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. That's cool. That's beige cool. It's cool. kind of neutral. Go with everything. It's not what? They go with everything. 
Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Losing your voice. It, huh? You losing your What'd voice? You say? You talk What's so? your voice? You need some hot water. No, it's just this raggedy ass goddamn phone I'm on. It's, 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 it's just. Well, I'm trying to find this club that she was talking about. Does anybody know what she was talking about? Um, so not that it's important. Get out of here. It's a vi it's a vi it's, it's, it's Oh, that. they probably slammed it and mad at somebody talking and shit. Yeah. Slammed it so you might, Yeah, it's kind of hard for you to hear me or something. No, I can hear you just sound a little, a little background right. Yeah, that's because there's a lot of people in here. That's it's all. A party. And, yeah, and then they tilt it up with a screen that's sitting up high. If you can notice so nobody can't see you in the background. So oh, you yeah. can't see nothing. Yeah. Right. So that's what that's they can't what see that the is. Or how yeah, the that's, is. yeah, that's all that is. That's all. But uh anyway, what I gonna say to you, uh Rose Lips, uh so you text him, he never hit you back. He hit me back and told me he didn't think that she would take this long. Oh, that was it. I'm talking about you still talking about the visit today. Oh, no, I didn't text him back. No, I, I'll text oh, okay. him and let him know tomorrow. Because he usually, you know why? Because he usually tells me when he's going to come see you. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the deal. Um, so she was talking about the shooting. Um, I don't know any of you guys in Atlanta, what you guys think about that club public sounds like, look, she's always talking about trying to open some sort of business and never accomplishes anything. And do you see how she just always has a damn resting bitchy face? Her reset face look is damn disgusted and busted. That's just what it always is. I don't understand why ma'am always looks just so fucking pissed. Not that your name is April Holloway. Are you for real? <laughs> Guys, you know who April Holloway. April Holloway is the name of the attorney that Erica Kang was impersonating out here on these Atlanta streets, okay? One day we're just going to have to, I'm going to have to have a pop quiz on y'all. You know what? There is a function to put up like a multi- question answer like not just a poll but like actually like a quiz um i need to play with that but i might have to ask y'all some nesto trivia questions um but yeah okay that's let me let me add that to my list okay maybe we'll do that for a little cash app giveaway um i put up a few questions and we will roll call out some winners um and I have something going on the like smack dab the middle of this week. So I'm going to see if we can manage that for this Friday. But if not, we will do it for next week. I just want to play with it a little bit. So I might drop a couple sample questions just to see how it's how it works and how the answers come back to me. Because I've only done it one time and I did on Love, Lies and Lace Friends and it's been a while. So I'm going to drop some test questions, if not tonight, tomorrow. And then... um Oh, it's Republic Lounge. Okay, I did see that. The two brothers that owned the club. Is that King Kingdom of Kush, sir? Um, I did see that. Um, let's see. I just looked at that. But I was like, she said public. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wish this woman knew how to speak, speak English. Um, let me, just for a reference. Okay, because she said public, but... Republic makes sense too, right? Um, let's see. I think it was this one. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's look over here. And we have breaking news on the Saturday evening. This is tied to a story we first broke for you this morning, the fatal shooting outside of a popular nightclub in West Midtown. 11 Alive has been working all day now into the evening to get you the very latest. Oops, my bad. And within the last hour, 11 Alive has confirmed the person killed was Michael Gideon, a co-owner of the nightclub. The Republic Lounge is a busy place on a Friday night. But for those who work at the club, this was a tragedy that they never expected to occur. 11 Alive's Karis Belger spoke with an eyewitness about the shocking sequence of events. 
This was the scene outside of Republic Lounge on Brady Avenue early Saturday. Police combing the scene and looking for evidence after a shooting took place outside. Ken Lucas's mother, Monice, says she was on the way to pick him up from working security when it happened. He called me and he told me that, you know, somebody had a fight in the club and had a guy in the parking lot with a gun. He asked me to go around the street to the QT to wait on him and he would call me and tell me when to come back. When she did, police still had most of the street blocked off. You know, I just know it, it wasn't that many people. I just think it was just like a small get together. Ken Lucas says he was inside when a drunk customer was removed from the premises. He says another person told him the person later came back with a gun. It was time mm. to go. I just heard gunshot. At that point, I had already just called my mom and told her just go. I was trying to go back outside. I don't have a gun. I'm not trying to die, you know. Police responded just before 7 in the morning and are still investigating what happened. In Atlanta, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News. And our coverage of the story continues tonight at 11 o'clock. 11 Alive's Don White will have more reaction to Gideon's death as well as the very latest on the investigation. 11 Alive, the first to break this news to you just within the last hour for the very latest updates on this developing story. Make sure you download the 11 Alive News. Okay, and what date was that? That was on February 4th, um, 2013. And Sonia's ratchet behind is over there for a visit on damn February 11th. Talking about the man had closed the club down because his brother died there. If this is the exact same place. So one of our, our folk in the chat told us that um, it was Republic, which that's what it was. She's already playing like she can do something and sis don't even have a damn car to come pick her up. It's like, sis, be quiet. <laughs> and that resting bitchy face. Can you please work on that? Please. I kind of figured it out. Just tell them tell I'm coming tomorrow, such and such, or tell them I'm doing this. Yeah, okay. sad news, okay. right? So it's supposed to be a winter storm today. Uh, that's, yeah, it's supposed to be a winter storm today. That's why it's so cloudy out there. It's supposed to be snowing. So many people were at the airport with the Eagles going to Arizona for the Super Bowl. That's, that's it. it. it, it nothing else yeah. with it. Yeah. You sent it, I deleted it. It never went anywhere else. And nobody even talked anything ill about it. We didn't, you know, start going and, 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 and describing it or anything. None of that. Uh, why they got, I wonder why they got, oh, they, they leave in here going. There. The Eagles and um, I forget the other team. I, I only watch football uh, like geez. right now. <laughs> Say it like right now. So you can't see it, right? But you can't tell that my nose is done. I'm looking. I'm looking. No, I can't, I can't tell. All, so this is all. He, all he did was this, and he brought this in. That's it. And he only brought it in like, like a. I, you want, okay, so you, you know that. So you know that picture of me and my dad I sent you. Yeah. That was my old nose. You can't even tell. That's the old nose. It looked the same. It's just a, a slight difference. That's it. Just a little. Because I used to think it was fat. Too. Yeah, you must have had a fat nose or something. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you got that. I don't have that. Uh, but I didn't think it was okay, fat. Okay. My, lips, my lips was actually fatter than my nose. So I, 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 but I always had, did not like my nose. From from, I just never liked it. So I was like, I'm getting my nose done because I was going to get the breast and the nose. But then it was like, which one you want to do first? And I was like, nobody cares. Just through the nose, because I wasn't really mad at my chest. I didn't like my nose, but I wanted a whole different nose. It looks the, I look the same. Yeah, I want well, I wouldn't have, okay, what? Well, I don't see no difference because I don't know what so much. You but, never but, paid attention to look for it. So since you can't see the old pictures, I will show you some old pictures when you get out. <laughs> see, it, it's it's like this much of a difference. Very very slight because it wasn't that you know it wasn't like uh, that uh -huh. okay so are you excited that you're here back in a no it's ugly outside i was only excited to see you this oh, okay that's good and thank you kids, very much i love to see my kids too but you know they don't like me but i like them oh okay well that's how i used to be thank you
Don't say that. And I'm I'm debating, do I want to live near them or away from them? Why you say that? Because if I live too close, I want them to be like, oh, you ready to win a corner? You know, so if I'm a little distant, you know? Wait a minute, wait a minute. But you want, you say they don't love you, but you love them. You don't Uh like them, but you love, you you sound, I don't know what you sound like right now. They, they say I'm smothering them. I I don't believe that. I mean, I think I don't see her as a doting mother. I see her probably annoying. I see her as probably very nosy. I do not see her as doting at all. Do you think that anybody? Yeah. Okay. Well, how is that? I don't have a life. That's all. No, you do. No, I believe that yeah. she doesn't have a life. Damn, I can get with that. Don't grow long as a motherfucker. It's long. <laughs> It's long. It's yeah, long, yeah, Papa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look like Papa for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Papa Rolling Stone. The, the joke is with her saying all that is like, sis, you're the same age as him. He's 58 at this point, right? Is he 58? He's 58 at this point. He'll be 50. He just turned 59. She was 54. She was 54, right? I don't know. I guess that's the gag. I mean, 54 and 58. I don't know. I guess four years. I don't know. I'm I don't think for a minute. I I think she just called him that, but I mean it's like Sonia, you're four years younger than him. It's not that we like that, but that's serious, but yeah. Okay. The glasses, the afro, the hair on the face. I don't think young looking at your teeth. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're funny. Oh, your face I, I, underneath, I, underneath all of that is young still, but you know that yeah. gray is it's just beaming. Okay. So good. I guess again, your neck is cute. Okay. You can't even see the neck. You can't even see I my neck. See that neck. What is up with her and that choking, weird obsession she's got? I can see your neck when you do this. Yeah. You got a nice little oh. neck. Oh, okay. I like your neck. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. I like your neck. So what you going to do with the rest of your evening? Or are you sitting over here looking good? I'm going to go and get it on the couch, ball up, and get some food, and just watch TV like I always do and talk to you. Are you serious? It's cold outside. I didn't come here to run the streets. I'm going to try to run the streets tomorrow. We got at 10 o'clock in the morning, you and I. And then after that, okay. I'm going to go... I go. I might call. I don't know. I'm gonna call some people and see where I can watch the game, or I'll watch it at, at home on the couch. Mm-hmm. You really act like you ain't got no. You really try to act like you ain't got no cold life. Like you just ain't got nothing going on. When I met you, you was all over the place, riding up and down the road, meeting sick. people. When I got slow. When I got sick, I slowed down. Yeah, but you ain't been sick in two years, so you come with something a little bit better than that. I'm just sick in a year. <laughs> But then I've been gone. I've been in I've been in Miami for almost a year. She probably owes okay. people money and can't run the streets. So you lived there. He said that you were active, running around, meeting people, and so now you're back. You act like you don't know anybody. Okay, well, she probably owes some people some money. She probably can't. She probably can't be outside. In Miami back in February, March. I was in California last March. Remember? And then. After after that, I went to Miami. Okay. So I've been gone a year. Oh. Okay. Okay. So how are you feeling? I feel good. How do you feel? I feel, I don't know. It was a little trouble in time last night. My mind was just going on all over the place. Really? Why? Yeah. Cause, My uh, mind does too. Because I be thinking about the things you say. Then I be like... No, I don't mind. Don't be going that far now. <laughs> yeah, I ain't going She's that far. more worried than he is. Going on. If I'm going to check out or stay in or what I'm going to do, that's my mind be going. Yeah. That's a little further than me. And now, huh? No, I don't think that. Don't ever think that. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, yeah. That's where my mind be at. Is it going in and out? Which way I'm going? Left or right? You go- I'll stay yeah, and fuck well, through it. That's what you're going to do. And then you're going to come in on the back end and, and turn it around and be winning. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you say coming to get you? Huh? Who coming to get you, your son? My son. My son. Yeah, is it a Barnes and Noble over there close to you? No, but I could go I could go to Barnes and Noble and just mail it to you. Had them just mail it from the store. Yeah. That's can I it. just buy, can I just mail it online? I could do that tonight. Yeah, you could do that. I'll call you and we'll 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 figure it out. Yeah, cause I gotta yeah, I have something today, to keep my mind could, going. Yeah, you you were thinking of them. <laughs> look how you look it. Look how you look it. Okay. We don't need no Let me see you make let me huh? see you make a muscle. Let me see you make a muscle. <laughs> He's just always I laughing at her. Yeah, I can see you. You're funny. Mm, don't have me hit yeah. you in the head. I showed, uh, well, I sure would appreciate you. You're not I allowed definitely appreciate to check it. out. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you got all that going on. Right when was the last time you felt your chin? Uh, can't, can't even, even feel see it. that shit. Oh my God, you're so furry. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. How that looking? Real furry? <laughs> yeah. She's so disgusting. Longer than it is, but I did long. Yeah. Do you imagine? He said that, so she says, how's that going? What about down there? And she said, he said it's about as long as his beard hair. Is she kidding me? For real. Really? Can't even yeah, see it, can you? Too much hair? No, can't see nothing, can't you see nothing. You all wolfy down there? Huh? Yeah, man, it's a sad situation. So as a guy, what do you think about ponytails? Um, well, you said you're sick of our ponytails, so I guess that answers the question. But um, that's, I mean, I don't know. Forget about it. That's not even like a style anymore. It's like, and she wears them like it's like it's a long hairstyle. Uh, I don't know. It's like the Ariana, even Ariana Grande doesn't wear the Ariana Grande ponytail anymore. Or Madonna, anybody who has worn that ponytail in the past, they they gave that up a long time ago. Sad situation. Let me yeah. help you clean it up. Yeah, Let me sure. help you clean it up when you get That'd out. So you, don't hurt yourself. Thing. Yeah. so you don't hurt yourself. That might be you're funny. You got jokes. What you looking at? Her phone not working, her visit. For real? Yeah, I would be like, "Why are you talking to me? Do I know you?" Oh, she sounds like she's going out. Because it's breaking the, on the phone. Hmm? The big air. Oh, uh, what? Freaking on the phone. They're breaking all. They're breaking all the phones. And she. Oh, 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 oh. oh. oh okay. Uh, don't try to. Yeah. Don't try to see me. Just look. Don't try to see me because if you try to see yeah. me, you're gonna squat. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you see how I'm still looking? Don't do that. <laughs> you look psycho. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, 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 psycho. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't see. Oh, look at all Can y'all get to business, please? Can y'all please get to business? 1349. I need to get that, that for a thumbnail. It's like, sir, can you please get to the business of the phone call, please? I mean, certainly you guys are going to talk about your case for just a minute. Can we talk some case, please? You need my focus. <laughs> oh, no, don't look like that. Oh, my focus. It's about the, the yeah. things on the bottom right now. Okay, so he said bifocus, okay? Instead of bifocal, bifocus, okay? Bifocus. Yeah, it's bifocus. Clear so you can see straight, but then when you look down, it's it's... It's glasses, so you can keep them on can your you face. Can you dry like that? Can you dry like that? I don't need that? glasses to cry. I don't need glasses to cry. I only need glasses to read and to, and to see my phone. That's it. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Well, at least you're holding your age up good. You ain't got wrinkles all around you and shit. Wrinkles. Yeah. Where's your glasses? Wrinkles. R-A-N-K-L-E-S. Wrinkles. This is it. Wrinkles and bifocus. I actually don't need glasses because I can see you. That's why I sit back. Okay, you what about see. if you can't need to see in your phone you can't see shit? I can't see my phone. I can see it enough, though. 
Remember, I had to put my glasses on to read. Oh, read okay. but can you see good now? You can see now, can good. See perfect. I can see you. Damn, I can't hardly. I can hear, but I can't. I had damn. Damn, one Maybe of my ears down, might be going bad. You going down? Oh my God, he's falling apart. Go come out of there, handicap. Don't yeah, come out of there, handicap. Feel funny on this. No, I ain't trying to do all that. <laughs> What's going on with that tongue? What's going on with that tongue? Do you like making your tongue work? Yeah, my, my tongue works wonders. No, I know. These two are doing too much. They are so nasty. I cannot with these two. Um, girl, I cannot. We'll keep going, but how did how did Shirley deal with his no speaking self for almost 10 years? Girl, maybe the reason why he was getting picked up was Shirley. Let's girl, can we talk about that? Maybe she was setting his behind up the whole time. What hmm. I'm asking, do you okay. like working it? <laughs> yeah, y'all can come by and pick him up. He'll be here around nine o'clock. It's been a while. Do well, you like that. putting it in service? You know, oh, it's been He's a while. Are you in are you into life? I'm into life. What do you mean by into yeah. life? Uh, just into life. I mean, you know, what did you really want to do right now? Do you want to just just go ahead on and get your, your spot? Or are you going to look for one? Are you in here? I already or? told you I got a business going. Got to get a, a, a nice, stupid income. Okay, so money. right now you just going to. So mm -hmm. turn to the side again. Let me see. She said she has to get a nice, stupid income. What? Well, I guess she thought that was going to be Nesto, but sis. Oh, girl. But me, I just dogged out all the way up. Nasty Nesto. Yeah, that's that's not going to be your nice, stupid income, sis. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to see it. Yeah, I see your age. Like an old person. Yeah, I see your age. <gasps> that's a fine look. No. You're good. You're straight. You ain't got them hanging on the bottom. There you go. I, I like that. She was in. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh, you never heard her business plan of making too much? No, she's going to put everything in her sister's name, her, her daughter's name, her son. Yeah, it's not going to be in her name. No, of, of course not. Okay, I appreciate it. You're straight. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. They're just yeah, talking at this point. They're just talking. Down on the they're just, now, now. They're just, they're just being, the uh, and shit. you know. That's a sad that. sight. That little thing. I've, I've never been overweight. I never had that. So, mm -mm. now my midsection. What the hell is that shit? Yesterday, it was like it was when I was in the hospital. What you mean? I had a pot belly when I was in the hospital. It was, it, it was. So what I decided to do was to change my, my whole diet. What yes, you mean, I, a pot belly? What's just sticking out? Like a pot belly. Like a pregnant pot belly yesterday. Really? Went, I woke up really? and was back flat this morning. Yeah, I was like, ew, what is this? I put on a waist trainer. It's, like it's probably gas in your belly. It's probably gas and your little, um, your ostomy backing up or something. Somebody with an ostomy or a... Um, I, I don't know if she has an ostomy or not, just to be quite honest, but whatever she's got going on, um, if your belly is distended, I would get checked out for uh, potentially some sort of gastrointestinal situation could be going on. So something in her intestines, her colon, um, girl, hepatitis, uh, and that damn stomach, H. pylori. Girl, what is wrong with you? What? So what did you eat? Are any of my medical Yesterday, people in the house? I, had, um, I mean, sis, I sis know, needs I a whole workup. I don't even know what I wore yesterday. Are you, uh, are you serious? <laughs> I oh, didn't know what I did. I went to work and I went to the dispensary. I, I don't know. I washed my hair. I roller skated. I talked to you while I roller skated. Some of that stuff I remember. Some of that stuff I don't. Damn, what did I, I don't know what I ate. No. Oh, you know what I had? I had a nasty chicken Philly sandwich. That's what I had. She has the worst nutrition. You never hear about her eating like a nice sautéed vegetable with some garlic. Nothing. Nothing like some cabbage, some nice Brussels sprouts, or some asparagus. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with sis? 
Oh, look at Tracy. Tracy, thank you for the sticker, sis. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to um, a friend who gifted. Okay. We had a friend who gifted. Let's see. Tracy gifted a sticker and Teddy gifted one membership. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's let's see what's going on here. Um, who did Teddy gift? Um, let's see. That's what we're having. We're having salmon. Um, and the salmon's almost ready. And I've got to go toss some spinach around a very hot chef pan with some garlic and uh, uh, I was about to say avocado oil, but olive oil. Nola Brown Triple Zero. Guess what? You got gifted. Congratulations. And thank the wonderful Teddy's mom for that. Okay. Thank you so much for doing that. And it is very much appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this up. And I'm going to let y'all go about your business on this evening. Okay, and then we'll we'll regroup tomorrow and we will get all the way caught up. Okay. A nasty chicken Philly sandwich. I don't even like Philly uh, sandwiches. This is nasty. I'm, I wasn't going to eat it no more. I'm not going to do that no more because I was like, I'm going to try to stay away from bread. I'm going to try to stay away from meat. I'm going to try to drink more water. Oh, I my God. I love spinach. I like it in salad um, and I like it sauteed. I just, I love spinach. I do. I don't know why. It's just, it's so good. Be sick. So. I didn't know you eat meat. Yeah, I eat meat. It's anything but pork. <laughs> <laughs> no pork has parasites. I didn't even know you. You can't eat no more pork or salmon. I don't eat, I don't. Okay. Or ham sandwiches. Yeah. You can have coffee. That's, That's bad for you. You got coffee. Okay, I, I got to have it. Right. I, 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 I got to have that coffee now. Hmm. I got to have that. I got to have that. Damn, this shit's seven months old. I know. Seven months old. Seven fucking months. Time served. Get the fuck out. Shit. Yeah, I know it, man. It's going to be. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Damn. Right. Okay. Well. Afro. Yeah, I know it. I know it. What'd you say? Okay. Well, at least it could. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Everything is all good. So, did you get, mm -hmm. get to understand what I'm trying to. What you, what you frowning for? Phone ringing. What'd you say? I said, what you're frowning for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's like. So, you got some. You know, the thing is, they don't have anything to talk about. They talk on the phone all day long at this point. At this point in their relationship, they were talking a lot. I would love, I know phone calls from prison talked about it at one time, but with having like the mother load of phone calls, this is what I'm going to say, because we know sometimes Shay's in the bush is listening. Um, with the, with the master, master uh, view of all of these calls, maybe they don't have everything yet, they have a lot of something, right? But based on the data that you have, how often did they talk? I mean, how many days were there not a daily call? Like, was there was there day were there calls daily for a frequency of how long? And on an average, daily, how long did they speak? Like to a to a Sonya number? Like, would he spend two and three four hours of his day? Because if we had that information, we could really understand how much money this trick sent on spent on this man okay how much of what she could have spent on an attorney we're not saying she should have to because i wouldn't have spent on that either but it would be interesting to know um oh really thank you so much i appreciate you saying that um i'm so glad it's not something that's irritating because then y'all wouldn't be here but thank you so much for saying that i would love to know how much of a day they actually talked. I would love to just have them pull, put that data together and just give us something about the analytics. Like in the, in one of the very first episodes, like let's just say the first three episodes of this saga, they gave us a breakdown of how like Sonya versus Shirley and, um, what, how much of a frequency, uh, he would talk to either or and how much time he would spend. I would love to know now with 
all of the array of phone calls, like even just as it relates to Sonia, like how often do they spend five, six hours a day on the phone? I mean, that's a lot of money. Different oh, on thank you. you guys are so kind. You guys are awesome. Thank you. No, I, so I accept yeah, all of it. I receive it all. Oh. Thank you. I receive it. I it's worth thin eyelashes because I don't like them real bulky and big and stuff. I like them thin and, and kind of short. Not oh, okay. Long. See? See yeah, I mean, he's got... I, I don't want to say time served. He's got two years. He's got two years on the books. Let's put it that way. I mean, I know we're saying the same thing, but he's not convicted yet. Finesto better look at the bright side. He at least has almost two years of time served on the front end by not being able to make bail right now. Yeah. So when and if he's indicted, when and if he's found guilty, and when and if he is sentenced to whatever he's sentenced to, he's got two years of credit. So yes, that's that's the bright side that he is putting in time. And that's, let's also say this case solo, that's if he has a judge that is nice enough to give him time served because is time, I don't know if time served is a foregone conclusion. They could have you start day one. So if his judge allowed, I think that's kind of like something that just happens commonly now that they give you whatever time as credit. But I don't know if that's just, if that's a courtesy or if that is, um, you know, if that is just a courtesy or is that a requirement? Um, what about the text messages? Which text messages? Does he have access to his text messages? Is that what you're asking, Miss Cheryl? Miss Cheryl, um, spill it out just a little more for me so I know exactly what you're talking about, sis, if you don't mind. Women of Wealth, how are you, sis? Bougie and Devil. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Yep. Uh, Miss Cheryl, if you can just uh, give me a little more information. Um, I'm intrigued by your question. I pray Dion goes off on his daddy for a making Sonia his power of attorney. I can't wait to hear that call. Absolutely. Um, K Solo, what? Not all judges give time served. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. How about that? I, I think I, I think it's it's up to the judge's discretion. I think it's a discretionary thing. That would be a great question for Pam pull up Esquire. Um, she might know. I think it's a discretionary, right? Um, I could be wrong, but I believe it's discretionary. Um, I have that scramble mix over quinoa most every morning for breakfast. I have that scramble. I love spinach and saute garlic just as much as I love sauteed uh, zucchini, yellow or green, it doesn't matter, um, with garlic and olive oil. Like that is my favorite. Anything that you want to saute tastes good with like a bunch of fresh garlic and olive oil. So good with some sea salt. That's all you need. And maybe some cracked black pepper. I'm not really into the pepper. Um, but Maybe some crushed red pepper flakes are good. Um, you may have to be convicted and sentenced to. Well, that's that's my point. I did just say that it depends. So according, so K Solo said something. At least he's got like look on the bright side. You've got time served. And I stated if he's indicted, then he's convicted, and then he's sentenced. All of those things. So absolutely, we can't get time served. Um, on just sitting in jail. So right now he's, yeah, we, we, I get it. I get it. And then I tried to, I tried to gently restate it because sometimes, um, just for those who don't remember that he's not even been indicted yet. So once he's indicted, he gets his day in court, uh, because we want to make sure that the presumption of innocence or that we are always mentioning that sir has his right to due process and we are certainly not convicting him over here, but I know that some people already have their opinions. Um, 
And I, I think he's cooked, but you know what I mean? Like, we're going to give him a fair shot. At the end of the day, it's not up to me. Um, but Sir has a lot of people to convince at this moment that he's innocent. Um, mm, yes, Roma tomatoes are so good. I love garlic, uh, olive oil, lemons. If you burn garlic, it actually has a sweet taste. Mm. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Miss Cheryl, text, text SP. Who's XP? Who's SP? Text SP. Okay, sis, maybe email me and let me know because I'm lost at this moment. Text spelling, maybe. Um. Okay, let's keep going with the video and then I'm going to try and figure out what you're trying to tell me because I'm sure I'm like just missing someone. Okay, text messages can't, can't be requested. Oh, from the FOIA request, is that what you're saying? Abs uh, you can request them. You're not going to get them. They, yeah, they're not releasing. They're not releasing the text messages, no. Um, great call out. Thank you. So anyone who did not know, that's not something at this time that they, I don't think that they release at all. Like barely see him, but not really see him. I don't like it when right. it lashes and it's just you know all that stuff. You see my hair? I can't, it's gotta hurry up and grow out. Is it is what? It's gotta hurry up and grow out. It's about this long now. Oh it is. Yeah, but not the top is only this long, so the top has to grow down here. Okay, I'm looking it up. Okay, so it's what about, you gonna do? What you you gonna get your bob? You gonna wear your bob? Yeah, we'll do a bob. We get a yeah. we get a little bob going. That's how you fly as a motherfucker now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that'll, that'll be a motherfuckers ain't really wearing that no more because they don't understand it. But everybody can't wear that either. No. You got it? Huh? No. No, everybody can't wear that. They can't wear that now. But you got to look in the, in the face to do that. So it fits right into it. Actually, it make you look younger. Well, actually, I think I have I have um, pictures of me with the bob because I wore bobs in the night. Yeah. And my hair was red. My hair was red. <laughs> I have a um, I have an orange undertone, so uh, my hair is naturally like reddish brown, but it's black because of the gray. So it's easy, and it's easy to match weave when it's black. So I dyed it black for that, that purpose. Must, that must be a comfortable couch. Every time you come here, you always say you sleep on the couch. So it must be a real Ooh, comfortable it is. couch. It's like an eight thousand dollar couch, right? And it's so like, like, you know, it kind of just sucks you in when you sit on it. <laughs> nice. What color is it? What color is it? Know, it's beige. It's oh, okay. off white. So, you didn't see it when you walked in, or you walked straight upstairs. The same couch. It's been there. Oh, it's been there. No I, no I ain't paid no attention. Uh -huh. So you said it just make you feel like it just sucks you in. It sucks you in. So you got the TV right there in front of the couch. Right over the fireplace. Oh. And I Why sit there with some food. Hmm? Oh, don't that strain your eyes when you got to look up like that? No, because Looking I just up. lay back on the couch and I just do this. I might just be chilling. <laughs> And I be sitting on that couch from the time I leave here to the time I come back to the time I go to the airport. I Are sit you on that serious? Couch. Wow. I mean, I don't have a car. I don't have a car. So at least somebody come get me. I'm going to call okay. Little G and see where they're going to be at tomorrow. Have his ass come get me. Who is Little G's? Little G. Yeah, the lead singer is still the little short one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Okay, okay then. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I hang out. I, I mean, I only hang out with him or... uh. What's the name of out of town, Madison? Or the oh, kids? Okay. Well, so I have, when I was here, I, I only hung around the kids. Remember, they didn't work. I just basically was taking care of Kaden. When oh, the first yeah, year I was yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. My folks, I really didn't have. A, I didn't really have to work. So all I did was go shopping, go get her, show for her kids, her friends around, wait in parking lots for them, and drive them home. All I was was Uber. Uber for kids. But all you enjoyed that? Do you enjoy that? I did. It's cool. Um, I don't have the vehicle for that anymore because my car is little now. So we'll see what it do. Oh, okay. So when you get here, you're going to get you another car. Uh, Maybe. I seen on TV uh, yesterday, uh, I won't forget the trucks, the fucking trucks like what I got. They drive itself now. Do you see that shit? Oh, yeah. Self-driving vehicles, yeah. Man, Those that shit safe. crazy. They what? Those aren't safe. Because all it takes is a glitch in them things. Like, one of them testers got out of control and killed two people. Oh, I did? Mm-hmm. Like a month ago. It was a wow. white one. What you see, it just going out of control, and then it just was running people over and shit, and it killed two people. Oh, so they got paid for that, was, uh, um, It just happened, so yeah. Oh, the driver's sleep. 
I don't know if the guy was asleep or, or he lost control of the car because he probably had it on self-drive and he probably autopilot. And he probably couldn't get it off autopilot. It glitched because it's too new still. It's it's too new. It's it's not even five years old. All that self-driving vehicle. Mm. That's pretty. Another what? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Okay. This. Okay. Um. So this is. This is just, I guess I could look it up over here. Okay. Um, they're talking about the code and the discretion. Granting credit generally, ex at, granting, granting credit generally, exceptions and use of determining um, parole eligibility and ap applicability of code section but when sentencing um let me go back to this other one because this one explains it a little bit in more legalese um but basically in georgia there are stipulations whether someone will get uh credit for time served i guess it's like a state thing here in north carolina there is it's more of a discretionary but they're basically in Georgia, according to this criminal code, 17-10-11, Georgia criminal code, um, outlines specific guidelines on when someone should get credit for time spent in confinement and conditions under which the judge should not award credit for time served. The law states that a criminal defendant should be granted full credit for every day spent in custody counting the day of their arrest. In some cases, a judge is required by law to give credit for time spent in custody, but even when they aren't obliged to grant credit, they may still decide to do so. So that would be discretionary. So um, there are specific circumstances when judges are required to give credit for time served in Georgia criminal cases. For instance, if a defendant is sentenced to an offense and they will be granted credit for the period they served in a penal institution, they will also receive credit for any time served in a facility where the defendant was being treated for an addictive disease, emotional or mental condition, or developmental disability. In other situations, a judge will have the discretion on whether to give credit or not to someone who spent time in custody. The court may also decide to deny credit in the following stipulations, if you are required to complete a program at a probation detention center, allowed to participate in work release. Okay, so, um, but generally, um, there are stipulations, that, a guideline that they follow. And outside of that, you know, maybe if they don't meet it, it's still up to the discretion of the judge. It sounds like it sounds like they're likely to get it before they're not likely yeah. to get it. Because he's such a party pooper. But that's, again, in this particular case with this man on the screen, he hasn't even been indicted yet. I just want to overstate that because there are a lot of people watching who feel like um, some of the bloggers on the YouTube streets have already convicted this man. Uh, I, You know what I'm saying? like we, I, He gets his day in court, just like he got his court, day in court today, and will continue to do so, okay? Um, girl, if y'all have not watched uh, Pam pull up Esquire, y'all got to go check it out. She broke the whole thing down from girl and eight thousand dollars. Are we supposed to be impressed? I'm not gonna say who doesn't have an eight thousand dollar couch, but sis, to me, I'm I'm just gonna be honest. To buy a good sofa these days, I don't know who's not spending at least five thousand dollars. Like you can buy. It does like why she feels like she needs to tell us that. Um, eight thousand dollars is I don't want to say it's not a lot of money for a sofa, but people are paying eight thousand dollars for some people are paying ten thousand dollars. But I bet you what I wouldn't do, um, and this is just me, so don't if you did that, that's up to you, but that's okay. I'm not I don't I don't know that you've done this. I wouldn't be in an apartment with an $8,000 sofa that would have to move everywhere. My $8,000 sofa is staying right where it's at in my living room. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, this is almost over. This was an episode that honestly we could have just talked about and skipped. I'm going to rewatch the next one just in case it's the same. It's giving that same flavor. I think the next one has a little bit more 
spice to it. This one was absolutely um, a snooze fest. So my bad, you guys. We didn't even really have to watch this one. Let's just finish it so we say we did. But um, to answer Sis's question, um, time served can be a discretionary credit um, by the judge. If you, It's probably one of those, if you go into court and show your ass, if you're not cooperative, if they feel like you have been making it difficult, um, they might feel a certain way about you. You know, um, I don't know when we saw nature boy get, um, sentenced, I don't know if she mentioned anything about him getting credit, but he's got a life sentence. So did it really even matter? Um, so maybe that's why I don't recall hearing her say that the judge, she was annoyed that he didn't even show up for his sentencing. He declined to want to come to the courtroom. So I'm a party for No, I'm okay. I'll, I'll be all right. I just gotta get this old shit off of me. That's all. Get this old, this old jail shit mentality off of me. Get back to my normal. Just, you gonna cut it all off and just go bald and then let it grow back in fresh? Uh, I'm thinking about it. No. Oh, really? You think so? <laughs> you got a pretty face, though. You could do no. You could do no hair on your face. You did it in that one picture. No, it was low. It yeah, was low. Um, yeah. It was low. You said I could have emailed it to y'all. <laughs> Not this one. Could have been an email. <laughs> Ah, no, I wouldn't have emailed y'all. I would have just been like, okay, y'all, we're going to go ahead and Tootsie slide past this one. Um, and we're going to go ahead and jump into the next one. You never lied. My hubby is a borderline giant, so we have to spend money. Yes. Okay. Low uh, black. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Sofas are Damn. expensive, but keep in mind you're going to have a good sofa for 10. I mean, some people decorate a lot, but you might have a sofa for 10, 20 years. I mean, I don't know how long people keep sofas these days, but you probably keep them at least 8 to 10 years, yeah, right? Yeah. If you look, move it up to the family room and then get something new in the living room or vice versa, like right? Your young self. You look related to your young self, but you don't look like your young self. What the hell me? Girl. Is that no. good or bad? I mean, you still <laughs> cute. No, what does I mean, that this mean? version of you still look good. Okay. All right. Let's do this because they're not saying anything. I mean, and if we miss something, I guess we just do. Okay. Once again, if you guys didn't know, you didn't watch Pam today, Nesto did have a bail hearing. Let me run this back just a little bit so I'll talk over it. Nesto had a bail hearing today. It was a it was a pre-indictment bail hearing or pre-indictment hearing. And basically they went through the probable cause for his CP charge which was actually a, a, a bonus for us on the YouTube streets because we never got to hear all or any of that um, when the charges were initially filed, right? So that was kind of a, that was a win for us on the YouTube streets for those of us who are watching the case and kind of want to know what the hell's going on. So he went to court and Pam was there along with Dennis and infamous Sylvia. Um, they were all there, witnessed uh, the situation. There was some issue with the rule 22. Apparently Dennis filed his 22 on Friday. It wasn't enough time for it to be signed and in the system, but they, they observed and took notes and Pam came to the streets with her full wrap up as well as Dennis. Um, as we watched him eat, I don't know if it was ribs or oxtails. Okay. But go catch them for the full, full, um, synopsis of the shenanigans in the court and all of the details. Um, there was quite a bit of information. I'm going to watch it again. Um, and so we can talk about some of the things we just, I kind of high level talked about it like a couple hours ago. Um, but maybe we'll get into it further. I just want to write down some of the things we did hear that he was accused of some, um, some essay, not essay, but, um, some odd, practices around his daughters. There were some accusations to their father. Um, there was also a um, some testimony uh, that was given regarding the computer and the CP that was in the computer. There, So there was testimony about behavior. There was testimony about the computer and testimony that corroborated the evidence that's in the computer from a close relative, his daughter, um, they heard from Officer Fields or Detective Fields on the stand who kind of went from the beginning how and 
how she became familiar with Mr. Williams and his case. Um, there was also the investigator there who did the forensics on the computer and made the determination that yes, there was something there and what was there is of a criminal nature. And, um, and I believe that was it. Hannah got an opportunity to ask some questions. Um, DDA Winfrey was asking questions as well. Um, Pam mentioned that Nesto had lots to say to Hannah. Um, didn't sound like Hannah brought anything new to the table, but yeah, go check it out over with Pam and Dennis. And I'm going to go re-listen to it again. And if you guys want to talk about it on tomorrow, um, we can definitely do so and then get into the rest of the videos that have dropped in the past couple of days. So I'm not going to keep y'all. I know it's the dinner hour for a lot of you guys. It's definitely, I need to finish up what I got going on here. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I know normally we we go for like another hour or so, but I'm not going to keep you all tonight. Plus, I think our good sis Nyla is live. So um, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go. And I hope that you have a wonderful evening. Um, and I might see you in the bushes over at Grown Woman while I'm going ahead and get this, this spinach washed and sautéed so I can feed my husband. He can get some rest uh, so he can handle that business on tomorrow morning. Um, do we know, okay, one second, what could be or should give, what could be or she just DGAF about the outcome because she has done a lot to harm his case. Um, oh, okay, you're talking to Cynthia. Sharpie edges, you guys are funny. Nesto's teeth are the youngest part of him. Those dentures are about 40 years younger than he is. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Um, do we know if Sonia has ever been to court to support Nesto? I don't know. I don't know if anyone has seen him there. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think so. She's a scary cat. Okay. And I said scary. She is a scary, scary cat. Um, I don't think, I, I don't think she, I don't think so. I'm going to say no, but I don't know for sure, for sure. How does one leave a bougie gang emoji in another chat? I don't think you can do it. Unless they upload one of my emojis, you can't do it. They're only for this chat. Liquid V. Wouldn't that be nice if we could use emojis everywhere? Right? Wouldn't that be, that would be, now general ones like the manicure emoji, stuff like that, just general stuff that we use that anybody can use. And but yeah, bougie gang specific to my channel are only here. Yeah, I wish you guys could. Um, to leave. Oh, is he talking mess? He's oh, I don't know, girl. I don't know anything about it. Um, the fool Dennis is causing problems. Okay. I'm sure whatever is going on, Nyla is uh, handling that business, right? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so let me let you guys go. I I don't know um, what's what that is all about, but we... <laughs> okay. Yeah, Dennis, uh, maybe Dennis is ready to uh, eat dinner or something. Maybe Dennis needs to get a meal. Um but yeah, I'm going to let y'all go and you guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you over there over to Grown Woman Vibes. Um but yeah, let me get let me get the rest of my dinner um out and then I will meet you guys a little bit later, okay? You guys have a wonderful evening. I'm going to just girl, I'm going to just exit. I have nothing. I am not Dennis's mother, sister, cousin or anything. If the man is misbehaving on these YouTube streets, I uh he better he better uh he can handle that, right? Okay. He'll be able to handle that all on his own. Yes, he might be hungry, right, Erica? Okay. I'm going to let y'all go. Bye, guys. I'll see you later.